Hey y'all, I'm Tamara and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. I am getting ready for a much needed beach vacation. If you've been following me for a while, you know I have been through it the last couple of years. I have been really blessed to take a few trips here and there, but y'all, I've been needing a trip just to go lay out on the beach do nothing, read some books, and relax. And that is what I'm going to do very soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you a few things I picked up to take with me on my trip. Some little vacation essentials, if you will. I will have everything linked down in the description below. If I have inspired you to purchase any of these products, please consider using my links. It goes a really long way to support my channel. It doesn't cost you any extra, and I try to make it very easy for you to find the products. If you are new to my channel, I also hope you will hit that subscribe button and come back as part of my community. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Your support means more than you could ever know. With that, let's dive into the haul. I'm going to try to loosely group the items in the haul. I have a couple different groupings. As far as clothes, I honestly didn't buy that much. I did get four bikinis from Victoria's Secret. Those are actually in the wash right now. I didn't even think about that before I filmed. The first new thing I picked up is this really cute hot pink swimsuit cover up. Y'all, I am so bad about trying on clothes. I hate it, but I will try to take some pictures in all of these outfits once I go on my trip. I'm probably not going to edit and upload this till after my trip anyway, so I'll try to get some pictures of these outfits. I really love the color of this cover up. It's really lightweight. It's open on the sides. Very cute. I also got this really cute white maxi dress at J. Crew. It's just like this crinkly linen material and it's got these little spaghetti straps. I thought this would be really pretty to wear out on the beach or maybe out for dinner with my husband. I also got two pairs of pajamas from J. Crew. The first pair has this really cute lemon print. I thought that was adorable and it's short sleeved with the matching shorts. I also got this really pretty paisley floral set. I love the bright colors in this one. And these are very lightweight cotton, so they should be super comfortable. I also got these really cute and comfy shorts. I think I got these on Amazon. I will find out. They don't have a label inside. I love little drawstring shorts like this in the summertime. They're super comfortable. Really didn't buy that many new outfits. I did get this two-piece set on Amazon as well. It is a maxi skirt and then this cute single shoulder crop top. I am not a crop top girly. I'm mid-sized and I'm a little bit more thick than I normally am. So I typically don't like to wear crop tops. More power to the girlies who do, but it's just not for me. However, because this skirt is a little bit higher waist, there's really not that much of your midriff showing, and this covers up my belly button, so I'm okay with the part that shows. It's just a really cute little set. I think it'll be fun for like a dinner out on my trip. Next, I picked up a couple pairs of shoes. These I think I got from Amazon. They're little cushion air sandals. I thought it was really cute with that woven design and they're really cushy and comfortable. I also picked up a new pair of Birkenstocks. I really like the style of these. A little bit different from the double strap Birkenstocks, but they're super comfy and I think these are going to be really nice for the beach. And finally, I also got a pair of Tory Burch sandals. These are the Miller sandals in bubblegum pink with the gold hardware. I think they are so cute. Actually, I found two more clothing items. So this is another little swimsuit cover-up that I got on Amazon. I thought it was so cute. It's very see-through, so I mean, this is definitely something to wear over a swimsuit, but I really like that it's a little bit longer. I've seen a lot of the just oversized t-shirt tops that are made out of the same mesh material, but I liked the little dress outfit because then I can just throw on some sandals with this and my swimsuit and I'm good to go. And I got this really cute striped tank top from Ever Eve and I thought that would be really cute just to wear with some shorts. Just a casual little outfit. And then I also got this little top from Ever Eve. I think this is by Z Supply. 
and it's just another cute little tank top. It's a little bit shorter. It's not cropped though, so I definitely feel comfortable wearing it, and I thought it was so fun for summertime. And now I'm done with my clothes. I did pick up a couple of bags. I got this little beach tote. I thought this was so cute. I think this was from Amazon, but I thought it would be so fun, and it's small, so I can like just take it when I'm going to the beach, throw my sunscreen, maybe a bottle of water, a book. Then I also got this little purse. I thought this was so cute. I think this one was from Amazon as well. And I just, I love the style. I love the little pearls and it actually holds quite a bit. And it's a bucket bag so you can cinch it closed, which I really like because I am such a mess. If I have a larger bag that's open, I have stuff falling out all over the place. So this is perfect for me. Then I got this one at Target. It is actually a Bottega dupe, and I thought that was really cute. It's also a lot bigger than I expected. I don't know if I'm gonna take it on my trip, but I will definitely be using that this summer. And then finally, I also picked up this really cute Draper James bag. I love the embroidered flowers on it. If you aren't familiar, Draper James is Reese Witherspoon's brand. I love the outfits, I love the clothes, and I thought this one was such a cute bag. I actually had my eye on it for a while and I finally caved and bought it. No regrets. Also from Draper James, I got this really cute little bookmark set. Not necessarily vacation related, but since I was buying the bag, I've had my eye on these as well, so I added it onto my order. Speaking of books and Reese Witherspoon, I'm the kind of person who overpacks books anytime I go on vacation. I have all of these intentions of reading and then I'm busy the whole time. However, this time it's going to be a real relaxing beach trip. So I picked up a couple of new books to hopefully read on the beach. The first one is actually a Reese's Book Club pick for this month. It is The Unwedding by Ali Condi. It is a thriller. Y'all know I'm a big thriller girly. So this is basically about a couple who's planning a trip at the beach in California for their 20th wedding anniversary. I guess they split up or something. So now the wife is going on the trip by herself. And when she gets to the resort, she discovers there is a wedding happening the same weekend to add insult to injury but then she finds the body of the groom and then another guest dies and there's a mudslide at the resort so everybody's trapped it sounds like a super fun quick beach read i also picked up another thriller this is the summer she went missing by chelsea ichasso i hope i'm pronouncing her name correctly this is a ya thriller and it's about this girl named paige who spends every summer at her wealthy friend audrey's home they party they hang out at the waterfalls they have a good time except this summer audrey seems a lot different and then she goes missing. So Chelsea has to uncover clues. She finds a secret in Audrey's bedroom, and then she and Audrey's brother, Dylan, decide to try to solve the mystery. So it sounds really good. I love a good YA thriller. Then I had to also pick up a little rom-com. I've been really wanting to read this one. It is Pardon My Frenchie by Farrah Rashawn. I think it sounds so cute, and y'all, how cute is that cover? This is about a woman named Ashanti, and she has a doggy daycare business called Barkingham Palace. So cute. And then she's also taking care of her teen twin sisters. And then her dog goes viral on social media. But then she meets this guy and his grandmother is moved to an assisted living facility that doesn't accept dogs. And he's not a dog lover, but he agrees to take in her poodle. But it turns out that the grandma's poodle is Ashanti's little dog's best friend. So now social media is outraged that the doggy's best friend is gone. To make it worse, Ashanti's business is having problems, so she has to become friends with Thad to get their dogs back together for social media. So it's like an enemies to lover trope, which I really love, and I am so looking forward to reading this one. I really hope I have time to read at least one or two of these on my trip. If not, I'll finish the other ones when I get back. I also got some jewelry for my trip. I love that nautical jewelry is so popular right now because it's 
perfect for a beach vacation. So I picked up this really cute set of seashell earrings and also got a matching starfish set. I thought these would be really cute for nights out on my trip. I also got a little matching seashell necklace and a starfish necklace. These were hard to get my hands on, but y'all know I am a Kendra Scott girly. Y'all know I am a Kendra Scott girly. They came out with this super cute seashell line. Everything in the line sold out pretty fast. I think there might still be rings available online, but I got the ring. I could not get my hands on the necklace until just a couple of days ago. They sold out immediately at Kendra Scott. I ordered one from Nordstrom and they canceled my order, but I was able to find this somewhere else. If it is still in stock, I will link it below. I thought these would be so cute to take on my trip. And then I also got this really pretty bangle bracelet from J. Crew. And then these aren't really for my trip, but I also got them from J. Crew. They're these really cute little pearl bow earrings, very coquette love them. I got this necklace at Kendra Scott at Target. I wanted to get it so bad last time I was in Target and I kept thinking about it so I finally ordered it online. I thought it was so pretty. Charm necklaces are really on trend right now and this one was just so pretty with the little monstera leaves and I don't know if these are flowers or little sunshines. Either way it's adorable. I also picked up two headbands for my trip. I got both of these from J. Crew. This one is like a little straw woven headband with little jewels. I thought that was so cute. And then I got this little beaded lemon headband as well. I got this set of little passport holders for me and my husband, along with little matching luggage tags. They also come with a little buckle to strap them onto your suitcase. But I thought these were so cute. Then I got these little Lily Pulitzer chair clips. I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I will link them as well. These are so you can clip your towel to your beach chair if it's really windy. And then I also picked up this swim ear. It's supposed to dry the water in your ears. I've purchased these in the past and never really needed to use them, but then I'm afraid the one time I don't have it with me, I'm going to get that water in my ear that won't come out. I don't know. We'll try it. It wasn't that expensive, but I'll link it down below. Let me know if you've tried anything like this. I also picked up some Reef Safe Sun Bum Sunscreen. Where we are going is very picky that you have to use the Reef Safe Sunscreen. And y'all, it was really hard to find. They are zinc oxide, and I think zinc oxide is okay for the reefs. There's just certain chemicals that are not good for anywhere that has coral reefs. I love Sun Bum. I'm a huge fan. Love their products. I also picked up their cool down, which is like their aloe vera if you get a little sunburn. And then finally, I was really curious about this Diptyque fragrance. It is the Ilio fragrance, and I bought the hair mist because it was less expensive than the perfume so I thought I could justify that. I'm trying really hard not to blind purchase fragrances anymore but you guys how cute is that packaging? I wanted the candle too and the regular sized ones were sold out. They only had the really huge candle in stock and I'm not spending that much on a candle. But here's the description of this fragrance. Prickly pear baking in the sunshine, the scent of bergamot and jasmine unfolding in the coves, the sun setting on the horizon, the Ilio Eau de Toilette is a summer drenched infusion that smells like sunshine, an ode to languid Mediterranean living brought to life on the bottle with illustrations by French artist Alexander Benjamin Navette. I hope I'm saying that right. I was drawn to the packaging, obviously, and I am a big summer girly. The bottle itself also has that adorable illustration, and you guys, it smells so good. I might actually splurge and buy the perfume. That is it for my haul. Again, I will have all of the in-stock products linked in my description box below. I cannot wait to tell you guys about my vacation. And again, if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you back. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing week.